All right, this is Mama Salisbury steak, right? So I'm gonna start with this much hamburger, but I think it's not all defrosted. So I have another one just in case. I don't really measure stuff, you know. So I'm gonna get all except the frozen part. Then I'm gonna pull some off of, it's mostly defrosted. All right, I'm not gonna keep this, I'm gonna put this back in the freezer. So I have another partial one right here. I'm gonna take part of it, you know, about that much. All right, well, this is still partially frozen too. We'll refreeze this. You know, that's just what mama does. So, you know, it's about a little over a pound and a third. So maybe a pound and a half. All right, mix my hands. Pound and a half of ground meat, good ground meat. Organic ground meat. Can you see all my seasonings? All right, I usually don't use tomato sauce. I usually use tomato juice. However, I have none. So, I'm going to use tomato sauce. You'll never know it's in there. This is what makes, this is what makes it um, very moist. All right, so I'm just gonna add some of this in. You don't taste it. It makes it very moist. I really like Dale's seasoning in everything. This is for good flavor. See, I'm just making a line. All right. I'm gonna add Italian style breadcrumbs, the Italian style ones. Just gonna shake them on top. Not a ton. All right, now I'm gonna add my seasonings. I like this seasoning. I'm gonna shake it up because <clears throat> seasonings settle. So, gotta shake it up to mix it back up. And then, we always like a little Tony's. Shake it up too. Gives it a little spice. All right, then we mix it all up. That's it. I probably don't do it the same way twice. Because I, if I have tomato juice, I'm absolutely using tomato juice. It just makes it real moist when you cook it. Okay? So you mix it up really good. You really shouldn't touch hamburger a whole lot, especially if you're making patties. But when you're making, uh, you know, to grill... All right, now I'm gonna make the patties, which, you know, I don't care what shape, but mine look like, like this, elongated, ellipses, all right? So we make this, Thomas is about to be home, and then I fry them which will go there in a minute, all right? I'm videoing this for you. All right. You make the patties. I don't know, they're all different sizes. There's just three of us here, so. We don't need a ton, but I'm already up to six. So there will be leftovers. We're gonna have one little small one at the end, huh? 
All right, he's a baby. I'm gonna wash my hands, then we're gonna go to the frying pan. go to the frying pan. Here's the frying pan. Okay, I'm not going to video frying. I'm just going to explain to you what all happens next. Okay, so I fry them. <clears throat> they're not necessarily all the way done, but they're pretty much done. And then I just use the gravy packet. That baby needs to be like on the edge somewhere. <clears throat> now, when I was buying my gravy packets this time, I'm gonna go ahead and start frying that. This is the gravy packet that I use. But somewhere on here, I think it said no, nope, it didn't say bioengineered. I, I would really like no nope. look, no artificial flavors, no MSG. It says added, which means there's obviously MSG. Alright, so after I cook these up, easy peasy, I followed the directions on the back of this packet. Brown gravy. I don't use water. I use bone broth, bone chicken broth. You could also mix in some bone beef broth. I don't have any, so um, this says a cup. One of these is with a cup, I'm pretty sure. A cup of, a cup of water, I don't use water. I use the bone broth. So I'll scoot them to the side I'll put my bone broth in first, and then I'll add this. And as I'm adding this, I don't just dump it in. I spoon it in. Why well, don't spoon it in? I drop it in very slowly because if you go too fast, it'll just clump up. All right, then you know what I like to do. I like, with the gravy, you can either make rice or you can make um, mashed potatoes. I like the mashed potatoes because then I can do corn. And then we can also have green beans. All right, so that's it. I don't have measurements for you, but that's, sounds very steak for you. <laughs> 